very important. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for First Fight! And good evening, everyone, and welcome to Slap Fight Championship Underground. My name is Daniel Austin, alongside Daniel Jubitsky for seven slap fighting contests, two of which will be title matchups, Daniel, as well as two slap ass contests as well. Yes, uh, I'm very interested in how it will uh, look like uh, to tonight. Uh, we'll have, uh, as the name is saying, underground uh, venue, uh, so it will, you know, add uh, some uh, specific uh, atmosphere uh, here. Yeah, Slap Fighting Championship continues to evolve, continues to change, and continues to show us new things all the time. Right now, we have got Piccolo against Bakush. Daniel, what are your thoughts on this matchup before the first slap is thrown? Uh, this is uh, a light heavyweight match, uh, so 220 uh, pounds oh. limit, and we can oh. see uh, the first slap, uh, uh, each uh, fight will uh, have uh, uh, three slaps per, uh, per person, if there will be uh, a draw after that uh, three slaps per person, there will be a, a, an additional uh, slap uh, over time. Well, I think that he's going to need an additional slap there because uh, Piccolo didn't even flinch almost on that first one. Take another look at it here. Watch this. Bam. He hit him as hard as he could. It was his first time. He's making his debut here in Slap Fighting Championship. So maybe just getting warmed up there. But I think that uh, Piccolo just took that literally right on the chin and just rolled with it. Yes. Being uh, effective in a Slap Fighting requires your uh, proper uh, technique. Uh, you have to know uh, how to uh, hit your opponent to knock him out because they are full of uh, knockouts. The, the Slap Fighting uh, Championship events are totally full of knockouts. Yeah. You want to get it done on the first time because you don't want to get hit. <laughs> now, yes. now he's going to have to eat one. Whoa. 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 Yeah, you can see what I was speaking uh, about. Here's a knockdown, but he has uh, a time uh, to recover, yeah. and if he will be able to continue, he will uh, simply continue. It's not a knockout yet. No, it ain't over yet. He's thinking about it. He's trying to get his wits about him here. He'll make it to round number two, but just barely. Let's see this again. Look at the size, though. These are two different sized individuals here. And obviously, size does matter here, Danny. Yes, definitely. Uh, Piccolo is uh, 14 pounds heavier here. Yep. So uh, this is uh, the and more experienced yes, as well. Yes, too. He's, he's been. We've seen him before uh, when we were previously known as Punch Down on a couple of different occasions. Goodness gracious! Round number two coming up here. Let's see what Bakush can do this time. Oh, and he hits him again, and he well, he did a little bit more damage that time. Yes, uh, but uh, from the other hand, uh, Piccolo uh, looked uh, hard like as a rock. Yeah, he, he did, his knees buckled just a bit that time, but I think that uh, uh, Bakush did a little bit better. Maybe we should uh, talk about it uh, now, uh, at the beginning, uh, during the first uh, fight, because we will have a mix uh, up, uh, very um, nice mix of uh, different participants. Here we have uh, prof performer pro canoist, uh, and uh, from the uh, other side, we will have a gym uh, fanatic. Also, did you notice his right foot came up off the ground? That's a, actually a foul. I don't know if anybody caught that or not. I just saw it here on the replay. You have to keep both feet on the ground. Uh, but like you said, uh, Bakush is a, uh, is a canoeist. He did canoeing, and so he definitely has a very strong upper body. And you can see that he's very cut and ripped coming in here. Uh, but he's still, I think at a little bit of a disadvantage simply because of the size and the lack of experience, but sometimes all you need is guts in this. Oh, and that time he may be out. He made out comes the mouth guard now, and he took a hard spill. This one could be over. He's got 30 seconds here, but unless somebody calls it off and steps in. They may ask him to take a few steps forward, to see if he can continue or not. 
but a lot of times these guys, you know, their their toughness gets in the way of responsibility. Oh, and that's it. Not it's not over. Good. Yeah, he can't even walk. He needs to be escorted off the stage. That was a knockout, a huge knockout victory there for Piccolo. Have another look here. He caught him good there. That was just too much. The first one was bad enough. The second one, and it was a game over. Uh, yes, and uh, two referees and, and judges, uh, Jacek Rzepiecki and Karol Matuszczak, who are a Marsh Polish martial artist. Karol Matuszczak is a Polish MMA pioneer. Uh, decided just to end this uh, fight and uh, as we can see Piccolo won by a knockout. Yeah and if you saw in that replay he really generated a lot of power from his hips the way he was swiveling his body. Let's get the official announcement here in just a moment. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, your winner by knockout, Karol Zyrubek Piccolo! He promised uh, an Let's additional go! win for his record and he did it. Put his money where his mouth was and he backed up everything he said. It was first awesome fight one more time folks big applause for these two fighters świeżo postaczonej walce e, i wygranej Karol, powiedz mi, no po prostu skomentuj swoją walkę. Jak to skomentujesz, co się działo? Witam serdecznie. No, nie, nie widziałem innej opcji, jak tylko nokaut. No właśnie, czy tego się spodziewałeś od samego początku? To, czy to jest to, co czułeś, że tak będzie? Tylko to założyłem, nic więcej. Żadnej nocy nie chodziło o rachubę. Jak to byś powiedział o swoim przeciwniku? No życzę mu tylko powrotu do zdrowia i myślę, że mam nadzieję, że nic mu się nie stało. I no nie wiem, żeby dalej się może w tych potyczkach sprawdzać. Michał Bakuś, który zmierzył się z Piccolo, Karolem. Już chyba doszedłeś do siebie po chwili. Wszystko okay, yes, wszystko jest okay. Okay. Cieszę się, że I mogłem zawalczyć tak doświadczonym zawodnikiem. E, to jest mój pierwszy występ, także widzę, że jeszcze brakuje mi troszeczkę doświadczenia. E, co pozostaje mi powiedzieć? Muszę się wziąć ciężko do pracy i zobaczymy, co będzie dalej. Jasne, e, czyli co? Nie poddajesz się. Nie poddaję się, nie poddaję się. Jestem zawziętym człowiekiem. E, walczę zawsze do końca. Także to jest mój pierwszy raz. Myślę, że następnym już nie będzie tak łatwo. Trzymam kciuki w takim razie i życzę powodzenia następnym razem. Dziękuję bardzo.